there, we'll gather thousands of satellite images of the rich app structure and then analyze them, looking for anomalies. It's the same process that helped her uncover over 3,000 lost settlements in Egypt. And my poor little treasure-obsessed brain can't help but hope that she finds something that dates back 12,000 years to Plato's Atlantis. So, I'm going to, very quickly, email you. So initially, when we started looking, we weren't really finding anything. We kept looking and looking and looking, and nothing was popping out. There's no visible architecture of any kind anywhere. But then, once our eyes got adjusted to the landscape, then hundreds and hundreds of features started popping out. There's not thousands. In the heart of the Rickot structure are two absolutely massive rectangular structures that look like they have rounded towers at the end. To me, that was one of the most exciting finds. These are pretty major. They're pretty wild, and they're definitely ancient. They're not anything more modern. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, so we'll go to the westernmost one. We'll zoom in and zoom in and zoom in. You can actually see the little animal pens. So this could have easily housed more than 100 camels or donkeys. This wouldn't have been a place where you just kind of camp out for a night. They're clearly going to have food. There's going to be trading that goes on. There probably would have been wells there. In fact, previous research reports that were done, they said, you know, we've been there. We found end axes from more than 100,000 years ago. We found Neolithic blades. But absolutely no evidence whatsoever until now of any kind of, of built human structures in, in and around the Rickot structure. But I think the story has changed. These probably date to 8,000 to 5,000 years ago. I'm super, super excited about what we found. That opens up, I think, a chapter of archaeology that archaeologists didn't know was there.